my channel, it's your boy Presley here and today I'm going to be going over the brand new Australian Neon Pet. So as you guys probably already know, we have the brand new Australian eggs with us today and I have quite a few of them already. The other day I did this massive opening, I got so many Australian pets, you can probably see them like scattered within my inventory right now. Um, dingoes, I got quite a lot of. The eggs just spammed me with dingoes. I got so annoyed. But still, I'll be able to make neon dingoes one day. Okay, guys, so I'm on the Adopt Me Twitter page, and they've got a lot of new stuff about the brand new update. This was a strong contender for the Aussie egg. That looks really cool. It's like a koala egg with a little bandana and some leaves poking out. So this is a guy that works for Adopt Me. So he has uploaded the neon versions of all of the Australian pets. So he's done all of them and I'm going to be showing you guys all of them today. This is the Bandicoot. Yes, I'm still calling it Bandicoot from last night's video. And it's glowing pink for the Bandicoot, which is really cool. So its feet are neon, its little nose is neon, and then the inside of its ears is neon. That's really cool. It'll be so cool if pets were randomized on what color they are, and then you don't know what color they're gonna get, or you could pick the color of your neon pet. That'll be so cool. And then we have the Dingo here. I'll have a couple of these in my inventory, the neon Dingo, because I got so many the other day when I was hatching them all. I'm gonna make at least 20 neon dingoes by the time the next egg comes. So the dingo has its feet a neon, its tail is neon, its ears are neon, and its nose. It's really cool, and if they did the underbelly, I think that would just be a bit too much. I feel like Adopt Me does the perfect amount of neon in ratio to the size of the pet. So that is really cool. Here we have the emu, which is quite hard to get. I only got one the other day, whereas I got like three koalas and stuff. So this is the emu, it's got the real not long neck. Luckily they didn't put that in neon because that would be a lot of neon. So it's got its wings neon, its feet neon, which I only just noticed aren't like the other pet's feet. Have they done that like all birds and I've just been ignorant? Okay, so I'm just looking through and I'll look at the drake's feet to start with. Oh my gosh, the drake's feet aren't the little circles like the rest of the pets. But the silly duck's feet, from what I can see, I'll pick it up and see if I can see it from there. So pick up its feet a little circles. So the swan also has... Where did my swan go? Okay, so this one also doesn't have the circular feet. So there's a few pets without the circular feet and there are a few pets with. So next pet we have is oh, the Australian Kelpie. Okay, that's so neon, it's so bright. So we have a bit of a purplish blue for the Australian Kelpie. So it's ears, it's snout and not, but not its nose. It's underbelly and its feet are all neon. Oh my gosh. That's so cute! It's so neon, so bright. You can barely see its eyes though in this picture, but I think that will be a bit different in the actual game itself. So getting onto the ultra rares, here we have the koala, which for some reason they've only put in as a half shot. They've only put in one half and not the other half. Could they do it? I guess they wanted to get the tail in, I think. Or they just don't want it to be in there. I don't know why. But here we have the little tail neon, the feet neon, the nose neon. It's got quite a big nose. I only just noticed that. And it's got the little ears neon. So this will be really cute when it's walking around. If it had its arms neon, that'll be cool as well. So like all of its limbs is neon and it's just got these two neon things waving about. So onto the next one, we have the frog. <laughs> they haven't done that much work on the frog for the neon. They've really just taken the underbelly and made that neon. I think they should have the eyes and the feet neon. That'll look really cool. And the neon yellow, I guess it does go well with the underbelly considering it's the underbelly is yellow-ish. But if they had like the eyes and the feet neon, I think that would look a bit cooler. And if they had it like a fluoro green as well, just to pop out on the dark green, that'll be cool. Getting onto the legendaries, we have the turtle, which I was a bit surprised about. I thought that they would do the spots and the underbelly as neon, but no, they did the complete opposite. They did the feet and what's around the spots on the shell. So the green on this, like I said for the last one, the fluoro green really pops out the dark green and it makes it look really nice, the balance between the colors. 
So this is really cool. I quite like it. So last but not least, we have the kangaroo, which is so cool. The kangaroo is so cute. I honestly really want like a 10 neon kangaroos. They're so cool. And they got it like half bouncing. So it's like bouncing forwards. So it's nose is neon, it's ears are neon, it's tail is neon and it's feet are neon. That's really good. If they did the underbelly instead of the feet, I think that'll look cool. But if they did the pouch neon and stick with the main design neon, that'll be cool as well. So now I'm gonna go and do some grinding to make my neon. So here is my teen Australian Kelpie that is going crazy at the moment. This is gonna look really, really cool. Come on, can you just stay still so I can get a good camera angle on you? Do you not like to be looked at and admired? Like, that's the weirdest pair ever. Okay, so... There is a good camera angle. When I get this Australian Kelpie neon, that'll be so cool, just me cruising around with my neon Australian Kelpie. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit of grinding now and waiting for it to want me to do something. Okay, so it's just learning some tricks now. It's got two tricks to learn. So bounce, bounce, bounce. And it's like utterly confused. And then it's like, oh, I get what you mean now. And then it starts jumping. That is cute. It's an Australian Kelpie just repetitively rolling over. And we're just gonna go to the hospital and I just remembered something really cool. I'll show you guys once we're out of the hospital. Guys, something I haven't said yet. I need to ask you guys, do you like my new skin? Oh wait. Okay, do you like my new outfit? I might go for the next video back to my old outfit and just like compare the two while I'm filming. But do you guys like this outfit? Have you guys got like your favorite rainbow item or have you guys found some good rainbow pants? I couldn't find any, but I only looked over for about two minutes, so I didn't spend too long on it. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys think that I should change it or if there's something cooler I could do. So guys, I have four rats. So full grown, full grown, full grown, and full grown. So you know what four full grown pets means? I get to go and make a neon rat. I've been working so hard to get this and it's gonna be so cool. My, this is my first neon pet that I'm going to be making like in my Adopt Me Life, guys. It's gonna be sick. Oh, I got to take out, okay, rat. Oh my gosh, that is sick. Where's it going to? It's like going to nowhere. Okay, so cool so far. Oh my gosh, this is my first ever neon, guys. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. The glowing stuff that's coming from them. Okay, my last rat. Time to make the neon rat, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. That was my, oh my gosh, guys. I've got this, look at it. It's my very own neon rat. Oh my gosh. Look, I've legit got a neon rat. It's like, oh, purple. I didn't expect a purple, but it's still really cool. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Peace.